Hello, and uh, thanks for popping into my blog. Um, I hope you're on my blog page. If you uh, found this by accident on YouTube, uh, yeah, underneath here there's a link to the blog page, and uh, the blog page kind of fits in with the blog. So uh, cut and paste that, and uh, or just hop on over to the uh, the blog page. Uh, this is day 12, part two. I did a part one earlier today uh, when I first got here in Manuel Antonio because. Uh, this area is so beautiful. Um, I also took a lot of pictures of the property here of the Costa Verde Hotel. If you come to Costa Rica, this is absolutely one of the places you need to visit. The beach here is, is uh, totally different than Jaco. It's a small beach. It's a local beach. It's a real small little town. Um, in fact, the Costa Verde Hotel property is probably bigger than downtown Manuel Antonio. Uh, they have amazing rooms here. Uh, my room that I'm in here right now, um, if you look at the earlier video, part one today, um, or look at the photographs I took on my Facebook page, um, it's just an amazing view from my hotel room right now. Um, obviously, I can't show you right now. It's uh, our time. It's like midnight. and um, Plus, it's been raining for the last four hours. Like My ocean view disappeared you know, maybe six hours ago. <laughs> So um, it was just a downpour. It's, um, I love these jungle rains and downpours, man. It, it's pretty awesome because most of your, your roofs here have tin on top of them, although the inside of this is, you know, like all wood, um, beautiful woodwork. I mean, absolutely beautiful woodwork everywhere here. Um, even the restaurant I went to tonight, the uh, cantina, that's also owned by this property, um, just an absolute amazing, amazing restaurant. Um, I didn't get any pictures because it was, pouring rain and I didn't want to take my camera out in the rain. Um, as I said, this is, um, I'm Bob Maddox by the way, um, and uh, this is day 12, January 16th of my uh, trip to uh, Costa Rica and um, unfortunately it has to be cut short uh, because I have to uh, leave tomorrow morning on a little rubber band plane, um, single prop, 12 passenger. Um, I hope it's not raining. <laughs> That's not going to be fun flying in that puppy. Um, but I uh, fly out of uh, Costa Rica tomorrow from the big airport in a big airplane. Um, and I fly into Austin, Texas, where I'm going to meet up with almost 4,000 other badass uh, dudes from, and ladies from uh, around the world who are um, geared towards uh, really making a, a big change in what society and what uh, normal people think. Um, and speaking on that, when I was at the restaurant today, I ran into a couple. Uh, the gentleman was tired, and um, she's, um, I think she's still a teacher or whatever. And i got to tell you, um, don't take this personal. Uh, it's not your fault. But, you know, government employees just don't have any, any ambition as far as I'm concerned. They don't have a connection to reality. And first of all, don't piss me off. Because I'm the person paying your damn salary. And if I don't like you, I don't want to be paying your salary no more. In fact, I don't want to be paying 90% of the government employees' salaries already. I, I think, I mean, good Lord, what is it? Like we got over 55% of the populations of, on government, you know, pay somehow, whether it be welfare or payroll or whatever. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And, and here's the point, um, other than some of the, like the school teachers in Chicago or whatever that are making seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year plus benefits, it's like ridiculous. Um, our education system, as I, if you watch some of my videos, I harp on it. Um, I used to teach in college and um, I used to teach math and uh, computers and uh, economics and uh, I wasn't a full-time teacher, I was just, uh, I had emergency credentials. and. Um, I got to tell you, um, the education system, from what I figured out, and a reason why I basically uh, quit going to classes in high school, and um, the, the education system, and I just found out how we got it, and, and, and I'm totally correct. Our education system did not teach you how to become successful. Now, you got to understand, as a child, I lived in Palm Springs, California. Um, I was in a situation to where my family had a donut shop, um, a Winchell's Donut House, and um, 
early in the morning, celebrities would come around. Um, you know, you know, Brad, you know, Bob Hope and stuff, and you know, um, just different celebrities. You'd run into them all the time. And then um, I had a newspaper out to where uh, I had a lot of celebrities and movie stars: Kirk Douglas, uh, Dean Martin, um, all the old timers. Uh, you know, Frank Sinatra. Um, a lot of these people, Elvis Presley, on my route. So I'm seeing a lot of people who are very, very wealthy. And um, I wasn't learning how to do that in school. School was, kept talking about do this, do that, get good grades so you can get a good job. Well, everybody that I saw with a job, and you got to remember, I was in the donut shop in the mornings before school, so I was running into, you know, 100 people that had jobs, um, no better than what I had. And you know, they they weren't all that happy. They were just robots doing their doing whatever they had to do to get their paycheck every week to pay their bills, and they were broke. Very few of anybody ever traveled. And the, the people that did travel, like uh, this uh, modeling agency, Madeline, for an example. She got to travel. Uh, people who own businesses, uh, you know, like the pool cleaning businesses and uh, other things, and had people working for them, they were able to travel. Uh, we had a, a, an amazing candy store downtown that, um, damn, I wish it was still there and I wish it hadn't disappeared, but um, him and his, um, I don't think they were ever married. A great old couple, you know, um, long white hair, white beard and stuff. They went to Africa every year. Um, why? Because they were in business for themselves. Now again, remember, high school and elementary school do not teach you how to become successful. They brainwash you for 12 years. Look it up. It's uh, Our education system comes from the uh, uh, King of Prussia, from the land of Prussia, and it was designed for the first six years to educate you in the three R's, arithmetic, you know, reading and writing. And then the next six years, and you can look this up. The next six years of like the secondary or the high school, as we call it, junior high, high school, was composed of making you committed, disciplined, and basically a slave. So you would be a good little candidate to go work for somebody else. And remember, working for somebody else, you're never going to achieve all your dreams. So if you want to achieve all your dreams, and and you know what my definition of dreams is, uh, my definition of a dream, if you have a dream of something fabulous and beautiful and something that you want, you know, you could have or do or, you know, whatever, whatever that dream is, dude, that's your brain. Your brain's creating that dream. Your brain is telling you, this is cool. You should have this. You deserve this. Come on, man. Your brain's smart enough to be telling you this. So you got it. And it, look, <coughs> especially the your teachers out there and so forth, because you know you're so. God, you know, I, I don't even think teachers should teach more than maybe five years, and then they should get a real life. Um, how many teachers do you know that aren't broke uh, or have freedom? Um, you know, they get the sabbatical paid thing or something after seven years or whatever to where they can take a year off with pay, which is dorky. Um, I don't know where all these rules, stupid rules come up for government employees. You know, a government employee, no matter who you are, shouldn't get any benefits any better than anybody else. Um, like in Japan, I, I don't know if it's still the same, but when I was there, I discovered that to be a teacher in Japan, you had to be in the top 5% of your graduating class. Top 5%. You had to be the best. Here in the United States, you can be the worst student in your graduation class and get a job as a teacher. Now, teachers, you've got to look at this. Um, and again, I'm not picking on the human being part of it because, remember, they were brainwashed too, okay? So if you're brainwashed and then you become a brainwasher, you know, what do you got there, you know? Um, one plus one equals one in this case. Um, the point is, is that Teachers, how does somebody that isn't successful or is strictly living off taxpayers' dollars with no accountability, basically, and protectionism from unions, 
how do you expect them to teach your students um, or, or your children uh, or any of their students how to be successful? I remember talking to a counselor just before they uh, kicked me out of high school in the uh, 10th grade, I think it was, or 11th, somewhere in there. Um, and, I, and then I got put in continuation school, which was dynamite because my two, uh, um, God, Tom Chaney and, or Janey, or I, I, I kind of can't remember their names right now, but amazing men, they, uh, <clears throat> they grabbed courses for me out of UCLA for like economics and stuff because I had this desire to um, know more, you know, about stuff. But I remember the counselor, and I can't remember his name right at the moment uh, because, come on, give me a break. That was like 50 years ago. Um, he was telling me, look, Bob, you got to have an education. You should take school a lot more serious because without an education, you can't get a good job. <clears throat> I'm like, really? What makes you think I want a job? Well, how are you going to support yourself? <clears throat> and I'm like, um, well, like, what kind of job should I get? Like a job like yours? Well, no. Um, well, what kind of money do you make? Well, i very well paid. Really? And? And he told me it was some, I think he, he, he uh, I think he said it was like, Four thousand dollars or five thousand dollars a year. You got to remember, this is back in the '60s. It was like he said, it's like four or five thousand dollars. And I'm like, I figured that out, divided it up by fifty-two in my head, and I'm like, wow, dude, I make more than that now parking cars. Because I, I, I park cars valet at some of the nicest places. Started out at um, uh, Tamara's Country Club, and then I ended up at um, uh, Don De Beach Comer and. Um, Ruby Dunes, which were the the hot spots in the desert at the time, and um, anyway, as a, as a valet parker and then taking over uh, a valet parking lot, um, I was making amazing money. I was making more money than my family was. Um, so school didn't make any sense to me. Uh, plus the fact that what's this crap about you get in high school and you got to take history again, and it's the same old crap. Again? So tell me this redundancy, this rope thing, you know? Okay, I already learned that supposedly this guy, crazy guy named Columbus, that didn't even know he landed on a new land, uh, discovered duh, America. Um, pretty cool because it wasn't called America, and they, and, and they didn't name it after him. They didn't call it Columbus because they didn't know. They thought he made it to the Indies. And it wasn't until Amerigo Vespucci came over and he went around South America and figured out this ain't Africa and uh, continued on and discovered that Columbus never made it to the Indies. He actually crash landed in the uh, in the Americas and actually um, I believe he died um, in Costa Rica where I'm at right now which is funny they, they named their money after in honor of uh, Columbus here and he actually this is where the diseases killed out almost 99 percent of all the indigenous uh, population here so they're all the original people that lived here were killed off by all the diseases that they brought over. So my point is you just you're learning the same thing over again. And then when I got in college, um, here we go again, same damn history book, a little nicer book. Now we got to pay for it. Same BS. Why am I learning this crap over again? What happened? Didn't the teachers in high school do a good enough job? Elementary school, didn't they do a good enough job? Why am I learning it again? Now look, if the teachers want to argue with me, here's the point. Look at how many people in our society are successful. And don't give me your BS crap about your definition of successful. You know what successful is? Hey, come down here and visit me in Costa Rica. Hey, let's go to the Ukraine. Hey, let's go to Thailand. Oh, you can't go? Oh, you can't get the time off? Oh, you can't afford it? Really? Is that your definition of friggin' successful? No. And you know what? There was room for everybody to be successful. You know why Donald Trump, Bill Gates, and these guys have so much money? Because it's there. <coughs> Excuse me. The money is there. And if you want it, it's yours for the asking and earning it. Okay? So that's what we're doing here in our businesses. 
Um, for an example, take P90X, Beachbody Company and stuff. Um, this is an amazing career job. No, you're in business for yourself. Um, you're an independent coach for the company, and you're in total control of whether or not you're successful or not. And so you can earn tons of money doing this. And how secure is it? Think about this. Health and fitness, it's not going away. And the big beauty, of, here's a, a little tip, if for especially older people watching this, uh, like myself, um, there are 10,000 people retiring every single day in the United States alone. And this is projected numbers all the way through 2019. So we're looking at six more years of this. Now think about this. All these retirees are interested in being healthier, in better physical condition, and able to be more active all the way through the rest of the remaining years. This is an amazing opportunity, not to mention all the obesity and everything else we got going on. And our company with over 30 different products or programs, workout programs and stuff, is a proven success story. Um, so this is a great career business to be involved in. And then using a blogging system to learning how to blog, and like I'm doing here now, uh, you don't have to be long ones like this, but um, you know, um, I want to get a lot of points across, so you know, I talk a lot. But if you make it through this whole video, and you make it through all my videos, you make it through all of David Wood's videos, you make it through Tony Robbins' videos, um, you know, a lot of these different videos that are 20, 30 hours long, and you know, hours and hours uh, in length, then you are a great candidate for taking curing the brainwashing and reversing the brainwashing they did to you in our society and education system. And you are a great candidate to become super successful. And, and when I talk about successful, you know, freedom and, and all the things I talked about and being able to go anywhere you want to and all this stuff and uh, buy whatever you want to um, takes money. So it's all about earning more money. The more money you have, the more freedom you have, period. Now look, if you're saying money can't buy happiness and money can't give you freedom, then you know what? Get off the page now. Just disappear. Because I ain't got time to try to convince you. I'm here to, to help motivate and inspire and uh, support people that want to be making uh, $10,000 a month minimum very soon and then getting up to maybe $100,000 a month. And, you know, and if you if you are negative like this person I met at the restaurant today, you know, God, I have to bite my tongue so much when I, why is somebody trying to convince me that what I'm doing is a scam when I make more money than they are? Excuse me? How many times can you come to Costa Rica? Oh, you had to save up for this? What is this save crap, too, if you've watched some of it? You have to save? No, no, no. Saving means you have to deny yourself something else. So you deny something that you want to buy now, so you put that money aside to what we call save. So you sacrifice crap. No. Look, if going to Costa Rica costs three or $4,000 for a couple of weeks, earn it. Don't save it. Earn it. Just earn it. Do it. Come on. Uh, go stand on a street corner. Uh, I won't lie. I want to go to Costa Rica. Get two or three hundred dollars a day. Ten days, you got enough money to pay for your two-week trip. Whatever. So when you're sitting there, you know people like that. God, I'm going to dwell on this. I guess. Jeez, I hate it when, especially government employees, um, try to run things in the ground. Talking about pyramids. Uh, well, if you don't like pyramids, can I have all your dollar bills, please? Because every dollar bill has got a pyramid on it. Why is that pyramid on there? Because that's the basis of an economy, dude. That's the only way. Pyramids is a structure that it, that's the way things work. It, it's a beautiful system. It's a powerful system. It's been in existence for millions of years, probably. Even before people could talk, uh, they were probably working pyramid system. There was a leader, uh, somebody that was in control and helped keep everybody else organized and help other people uh, succeed. Um, so, God, or the word scam, or, or calling me lucky. Um, you know, look, if you want to change your life, here's the deal. Right now, right now, get started, 
join our team. We have a, a little team called Badass Street Team, and uh, there's a website dot com, badassstreetteam dot com. Uh, if you're on YouTube, it's right underneath here. If you're on this page. You, that's how you got here, but the link's also underneath here. Not much on the website right at the moment, except for a listing in the Costa Rica page about uh, all my different blogs and so forth. Uh, once I get back to the United States, we'll change it up a little bit. We do have a Facebook group. Now, the only way you can be part of this team, and this is for people that want to be making a minimum of $10,000 a month and are not satisfied with that, okay? You have to have the desire. If you want to be on this team, we want bad asses. We want people that want to be making tons of money and turn around and being able to help other people. The whole, our whole business is about helping other people. Our health and fitness, our blogging system, it's all about helping other people to reach their goals. Because Bill Gates and Donald Trump and the rest of those guys, they don't need all that money. And they don't care if, if we start earning some of it. They really don't. In fact, they'd be happy if we did. So look. You want to change your life. You want to change the brainwashing. You've gone through 20 minutes of by uh, burning your ears off here. Here's the deal. I want you to, right there, put your email in there, right there. You should be on my page. And if you're on my page, enter your email address. Click on Start Now. Go in there and watch the video about how the company is and Crazy Dave. And, uh, by the way, I'm uh, in Costa Rica. Currently, if you watch his videos and you look in the background, You'll see the ocean and stuff down there. Uh, he's up on the hill right above me here somewhere. Um, I basically got a closer view than because he's back up a little higher. Um, but I'm in the same place he's talking from, dude. And why am I here? Because I, I like Costa Rica. And also the reason I had to come to Manuel Tony is because I'm badass. I mean, David Wood created this thing, uh, perfected a blogging system, an amazing program, amazing opportunity. Uh, amazing tool to help build whatever business you have. If you're currently in business for yourself, again, what, no matter what it is, hairdresser, taxi cab driver, uh, whatever business you have, you're a doctor, blogging can be friggin' amazing to your bottom line. It can help you grow. And the blogging system can add additional, um, you know, extra money to do whatever you want to also. So what I want you to do, again, is... Put your email in there, click on Start Now, go watch the uh, video pages that uh, David Wood and everything's talking about, and then don't, look, you made it through this far, there's no excuses at this point. You can afford $25. Sign up for the blogging system, let's get you rolling. After you sign up for the $25 a month uh, blogging system for this blogging uh, system, then I want you to log back into your account and then look for the affiliate. Become an affiliate for 20 bucks a month. That way you'll start earning commissions. Uh, what kind of commissions? 100%. This, for example, if you click on here and you sign up and you pay $25 a month, guess how much of that $25 the company gets? Zero. That $25 is paid out in a commission, 100%. Most of them I get. So I, I get the $25. How does that work? Don't worry about it. David Wood, the guy who started this, and, and Dave Sharp, and even David's wife, Ashley, they are all affiliates also. That's how they make their money. So basically, they're successful. They tell us what they do because they're actually living it. You know, they're, they're walking the walk and talking the talk because that's how they make their money. They don't make the money from, you know, it's 100% commission. It's an amazing program. And um, if it doesn't work for them, they let us know what they do that doesn't work. If there's uh, fences or hurdles in the way, they let us know. So it's an amazing, amazing business. So again, um, I want and then to be on our Facebook team uh, group page to get support, motivation, and inspiration and um, get you up and going and keep you going and reach your super high goals of um, earnings so that you can uh, help other people. Um, you have to be in. You have to be paying the $25 a month. You have to be an affiliate. And then we start working from there into creating um, whatever's best for you. Um, I love marketing, and uh, I'm here to help you. But you have to pay, sign up for the $25 a month, and then you have to become an affiliate because that's the only way you're going to make some money off this particular program. Um, yes, you could just pay the $25 a month and just create a blog for your own business. That's fine. But if you want to be part of our group and you want to have the goal of making a million dollars a year because 
basically hundred thousand, well, eighty some odd thousand dollars a month is a million dollars a year, and that's what we're aimed at. I want to I want to have people joining me in my travels and uh, having fun like this too. Because you know what's fun? What's fun and exciting is that I don't may not know you right now if you're listening to this, but what if five six months from now you're making a million dollars a year? Is it possible? Yes. Can you do it? I don't know. Can you? For example, uh, on Friday, today's uh, Wednesday night, actually it's early Thursday morning, um, I'll be flying out of here to Texas in about eight hours. Um, I'm going to Texas, and one of the guys I'm going to meet, besides several other ones that are making over $100,000 a month, is a guy named Vic, and he's uh, only been blogging for less than 20 days with this system, and he, in less than 30 days, uh, it's probably more now, but he has made over, over $500,000 in less than 30 days. And like I always say, I'm going to hug this guy. I'm going to kiss him. I'm going to rub all over him. Because whatever magic he's got, I want it, baby. I want it. I want it. So, man, this is one of the longest videos I've ever done. Um, i got to tell you, I'm so happy. I love Manuel Antonio. I love Costa Verde. you got to look at my pictures on the Facebook page. I think there's a Facebook link here. Um, but uh, get all in, dudes. Don't be a wussy. Don't be a wussy. Don't whine and cry. Uh, when you got money, you don't give a damn who the hell president is or anything else. Who cares? Um, put your email over here. Click on Start Now. Watch the video with David and stuff. And then sign up for the $25 a month. Just do it. Do it. And let's uh, let's party on the beaches of the world, bro. Or sis. <laughs> so, um I want all of you with me. I don't care how old you are. If you're 18 years old, if you're 80 years old. In fact, my good buddy Jan, 81 years old. He's a coach. He's a coach. And he, he, the guy's an amazing guy. Um, we're going to get his blog up and starting. Um, I, I want to see this guy who is a, 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 a diehard Democrat and Obama lover and everything else, um, hates rich people. Um, I want to turn him into a millionaire, dude. <laughs> Um, that's my goal. I, I, I want to see him be able to travel the world with me, man. That's, I wish he could be here right now. Um, uh, and the reason, the only reason he's not here with me right now, some people say, well, Bob, why didn't you take him? Um, look, like I told you, I got freedom. I decided at the last minute I'm going to Costa Rica. He didn't have time to get his passport. Isn't that cool? I just get up and go. I have my passport already. Because I know I want to travel. Now, Jan's traveled around the world, world too, but in, in a boat, like out in the middle of the ocean for years, man. He's got an interesting story to tell and, a, and probably a good book to write. And he can use the blogging system to promote his book. Anyway, I've talked your damn ears off. This is 28 minutes. Oh, my God. Um, let's see how many people listen to this. Leave me comments below, man. Um, I want you on the team. Join our badass street team and uh, dot com. And... Uh, Get all in here. Put your email over there. Um, sign up for the $25 a month. Uh, then go back and log in and pay for the affiliate fee of $20 a month. And let's get you rocking and rolling. And let's, uh, man, let's let's have fun together, man. Let's let's go party. Anyway, um, man, I cannot believe I've been on here for 28 minutes. Uh, I, I hope YouTube takes this. Talk to you later.